think about what people come to see when they come to Asheville, one of the places that most people marvel at is our downtown. We have the most number of Art Deco buildings outside of Miami, Florida. So when people come to Asheville, they come to a place that's eclectic, a place that has preserved its past but honors its future. I know there are a lot of new businesses coming to Asheville. Most, you know, most popular is uh, in Belgium, of course, and Sierra Nevada. But are there any new businesses that are going to be coming in bet between now and before they arrive that you're excited about? Well, we're happy that Lenamar is also expanding. They made the announcement that they're going to expand. They're one of our newest businesses in our area. PLI is a locally owned business that is expanding, and we're excited about that. Eden Corporation is expanding and their existing business in our community. So I'd like to first champion and highlight that we have existing businesses that are doing extremely well in this economy. Asheville has one of the lowest unemployment rates in the state, and that's, that's a lot to say about our community. In the last month, there have been a lot of events surrounding supporting the growth of the entrepreneur, actually, in Asheville. Um, how do you see this changing the face of the identity of the city? Well, the majority, over 70% of Asheville's businesses are small businesses. And so I think that having an emphasis on small businesses and entrepreneurs who are looking to start a business or expand what they have in place is important to the city of Asheville, and it has always been that way because small businesses are the backbone of our downtown. If you look at the fact that most of the storefronts are usually someone who's local or is an independently owned business, the strong um, Asheville Independent Restaurant Association, the fact that we have so many independently owned restaurants, that all that comes together so the entrepreneurs are the backbone of our economy and our community and I think the highlighting of entrepreneurs is so important to the future of Asheville and making sure that entrepreneurs feel comfortable working with city government to open a business, expand the business, and so I think that's important. So this week uh, at the North Carolina Entrepreneurship Summit, there was a lot of talk about um, a motto for a city, like Austin, Texas, their motto is be yourself. Um, what would you say would be a good motto for the city of Asheville? I think be creative or experience life. I think looking at who Asheville is, it's the ability to take an idea and see it actually happen, whether it's with a business or a nonprofit or an idea of starting a board or commission. I think if you look at Asheville, there's a lot of creativity here, and so people come here with a dream. Small business owners in downtown Asheville have been successful over the years because they're different because they've been creative and because they've taken a chance. And so, as I look at the future of our downtown, I think it's, it's bright. I think that there are opportunities for improvement in some areas. But overall, we have a downtown that does not compare to any other in the country. You know, looking at Mountain Biz Work, they're helping people with just an idea, create a business plan, going from a business plan to getting a loan to start their business. So there are a lot of opportunities in Asheville, so I wouldn't count out being creative, because I think part of that being creative or be creative, I think people are becoming successful. Now, the current identity of Asheville is very artistic. It's known for, you know, it's foliage and people coming here for that, for tourism. But now that there's been a push for entrepreneurs to come here and incubate and have other support systems. How do you see that changing the identity of Asheville? I don't know if it will change it, but I think it, it will continue to foster more growth. I think there will be a, a birth of new businesses and, and new opportunities. I don't see it as a change. I think it will be appreciated and welcomed. But I don't think it necessarily changes it. I think it enhances the quality of life for the people who live here because there will be more jobs that will be available to people. But I don't think it will be a change because entrepreneurs are the backbone of our economy already.
So our downtown is like nothing else, like no other place. And the people who have invested in our downtown are believers, they're entrepreneurs, they are creative, and they're vibrant. And I think that's also Asheville. Awesome. Thank you so much for taking the time to, to have this interview with us. It's my pleasure. Thank All you. Right. Look forward to seeing you again.